This is Mexico. Local farmers are harvesting huge fruits. In fact, this fruit is called cocoa fruit. It is the raw material for producing chocolate. October to December is the cocoa fruit harvest season. Harvested cocoa fruit, the locals will use a knife to cut the shell open. Inside are cocoa beans wrapped in white pulp. Fresh cocoa beans cannot be used directly. Generally, fermentation is performed first. The fermentation process not only can the pulp wrapped in cocoa beans, natural decomposition. It can also reduce the bitterness and soreness of cocoa beans, make the chocolate taste more mellow. Fermented cocoa beans will be dried in the sun. After sufficient exposure to sunlight, the cocoa beans can be roasted. Roasted cocoa beans are crushed and shelled. You can get cleaner cocoa noodles. Then grind the cocoa noodles. The grinding process generates heat. It will melt the cocoa juice and the cocoa beans into liquid. The chocolate is finally poured into the corresponding mold. The chocolate is ready. The whole process looks clean and hygienic. But in fact, pure cocoa chocolate inside may be a lot of dead insects. Due to the fermentation and drying process, all done in the open air. Therefore, it is inevitable that bugs and rats will come to visit. It is difficult to remove these impurities 100% in the later process. 